This is part two of our tutorial, and we're moving a domain from one GoDaddy account to another. In this part, we'll be accepting the domain into our account. So when you're at GoDaddy.com and you're ready to accept the domain, go ahead and click on Log into my account, the gray button in the upper left, and type in your username and your password. When you're logged in, You'll see your name in green in the upper left hand corner of your screen and you can click on the black my account button. When the screen loads up going down the left you're looking for domains and on the right hand side you want the green launch button. When the screen loads up it'll bring up a list of the domains that you currently have. I have none. Um, in the upper left just underneath the GoDaddy logo you're looking for the domains you hover over it, you'll get a menu, and you're looking for pending account changes. Pending transfers would be for a transfer. The difference between an account change and a transfer is an account change is between two GoDaddy accounts. Uh, transfers between two different registrars. So if you're coming from Network Solutions or if you're coming from Register.com, you don't want to pay those 35 whatever dollar a year domain fees you would be doing a transfer in this case we're just doing an account change um, here's our domain we want to put a check in the box next to it you'll notice it's an incoming account change and right above it we'll choose quick accept when the window pops up put a check in the box agreeing to the universal terms of service GoDaddy always makes you agree to the universal terms of service and click OK. You can see it takes a second. It's going to let us know our changes have been submitted. Go ahead and click OK again. And now we're going to look for the domain and make sure that we have it. So we'll go back to domains in the upper left and choose all my domains. And there it is, changing accounts into our account. It should just take about five minutes. It'll be an active domain, locked in our account like it should be, and ready to go. Some common reasons you would do an account change would be if you gifted a domain, you know, if you purchased a domain for somebody as a gift and then they already have a GoDaddy account, it's real easy just to push it into their account, have them receive it. Uh, if you they don't have an account, just set them set them up one quick another reason would be uh, auctions it's probably the most common actually if you purchase a domain or sell a domain on auctions everybody has a GoDaddy account these days so just push it right over and makes the transaction go quite a bit quicker